Hey y'all, welcome back to the Polar Express. I hope you're staying warm and cozy, but if you're not, we're about to heat things up momentarily. Today, our girl has a big day planned for us. We're shedding some tears, we're going to Walmart, and we'll be spilling some tea. Who said Amber Lynn Reed is boring? Why, I never. But yes, we have some Walmart shopping to take care of, as well as a throwback moment to review regarding a specific article of clothing. Mm -hmm. We're revisiting a time in Amberverse history when Amber Lynn didn't have so many nice things to say about ex-girlfriend and cast member Becky. Let's let Walmart guide us to victory on this one. Amber Lynn is also going to be disclosing a never-before-heard secret to us before. I'll tell y'all what now. I don't think anyone saw this coming. For real girls, get ready to pick your jaw up off the ground. Let's major in criminal justice. For today's unzipping of a fanny pack, you will need a winter coat that can be used as a blanket, a pair of scissors, and an unfinished Lego. If you're creeping, keep it on the low, because we are stalking our way back into the Amberverse. Hello, hello. Welcome to a new vlog. So, so far today, I've just been doing my typical routine, getting ready for the day, taking care of my fur babies, and all I've had today were some of these honey roasted almonds. They're so good. Oh, last night, I watched the new episode of A Thousand Pound Sisters, and here's a little bit of my reaction to that. This is me. <laughs> I can't even talk. This is me when I watch A Thousand Pound Sisters. Balling my eyes out i have my jacket on backwards because i'm cold but it's just so emotional oh i'm watching the new episode of the new season and i just see i always thought that amber lynn had beef with amy and amy did i just say amy amy and tammy because <laughs> i remember amy made a video shading amber lynn she was making fun of her content and everything. And then in the video, Amy painted her knuckles black and was like do doing very subtle things to make fun of Amber Lynn. So, but, now, but now we're crying for them because we're so happy for them. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. This is like when she fights with Chantal. She and Chantal will declare war against each other. We're not friends. Chantal will say all this really nasty stuff about Amberlynn. I've seen your true colors. And then three months go by. Hey, bestie. It's... <laughs> what? I can't. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, the whole Tammy and Caleb story, it just does something to me. <sighs> Y'all, I'm going to keep watching it, but oh my god, if you guys have not seen it, please see it. Such a good show, and I just, like, I'm so, like, attached to these people that I just can't even handle myself. Y'all, when I tell you I am obsessed with that show, I mean it. So my mom is trying to find an ugly sweater moment and I found this one, Christmas mood. Yeah, that's a little cutie right there. But I think the one that she wants to choose, which one is it? That one right there, which is actually kind of cute to be thing. honest. It looks so I wonder if Mama Lynn went out and did all of these uh, little shopping escapades prior to Amber Lynn living in Oklahoma? Like, was she always a shopping girly pop? Or has Amber Lynn turned her into a shopping girly pop? Or do they have some kind of arrangement where it's like, oh, hey, let's go out for the day. And it's kind of like assumed that Amber Lynn pays for some stuff, which kind of makes it possible. Because otherwise, Amber Lynn would just be at the apartment by herself all day. Huh. So cozy and comfy, love it. So I don't remember where I was, but it was a couple weeks ago. Someone was wearing this and I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. They're like, I got it from the Walmart. And I was like, oh. And now here I am with it in my hand. Oh, it's so. 
Now, this is minor, but what was that? I got it from the Walmart, and I was like, oh! Like, as if Walmart couldn't make something that is cute. Or you were surprised at the fact that you spotted something on someone else from Walmart that you liked. There were a couple moments throughout season five where Amberlynn actually shaded Walmart. Um, I remember her distinctly saying on an Instagram Q&A one time that she is more of a target girly. She's uh, a little bit above Walmart. Walmart's kind of like eh, season two, season three. She's uh, she's uh, matriculated to better department stores. Hmm. Okay. All right. I guess that this is just a uh, another important lesson to never forget where you came from. I like Walmart. <laughs> oh, freaking cute! Obviously, a fanny pack <laughs> can't fit on your girl, but a lot of people are wearing them. Like. Oh, it even shows. Wait a second. So she's acknowledging that the fanny pack can't fit on her, but she's expressing interest in it. Do we know what this is a direct reference to? Oh, I'm not letting this one go. Especially the fact that it happened in Walmart. Let me go find the old video. Oh, I can call you. you. I can call you names that I call my friends now. Like what? What's up, bitch whore? <laughs> I have to respect her. Okay, wait. Actually, as I was looking for the Walmart video, I stumbled upon a compilation and I kind of went down a rabbit hole. I've been watching Amberlynn and Becky videos for the past hour. <laughs> you know how recently we've been talking about does Amberlynn get dropped off at the store? The mom goes and parks and then meets her at the entrance. You know that little conspiracy we've been flirting with a little bit? Want to take a look at this clip right here. <laughs> okay, here you go. Oh, you're going to let me out in front? That's girlfriend goals. Girlfriend goals. I'll see you in there. Okay, bye, I love you. I love you too. Uh -huh. I'm <laughs> Lovely freeze frame. But honestly, honestly, girlfriend goals, girlfriend goals, you're letting me out in front of the store. Becky goes and parks and then meets her at the entrance. I'm just saying, history, especially in the Amberverse, has a tendency to repeat itself. Just saying, just saying. Fanny packs are back in business. I'm so excited. Are you actually gonna wear that? Well, yeah. well, yeah, she says. Okay, this is a famous scene from season four. Becky and Amber Lynn were in Walmart, and Becky was showing interest in this fanny pack on the screen right now. She was trying it on. She was seeing how it looked, how it fit. And this is what Amber Lynn had to say to Becky when she was trying on this fanny pack. Oh, you look so cute. Do you need to make it a little bit bigger? I don't know. Baby, you just got to lose a little bit of weight. I know you can do it. So really, really, Amberlynn, you want to go there? You want to go there after what you said to Becky and how you made her feel back then? Walmart fanny packs are suddenly okay? I, you were making fun of Becky back then and told her that she needed to lose a little bit of weight to make it fit. And now here you are, December 2023, praising Walmart fanny packs. It just comes off a little bit fake. A little bit fake. Shows it on here. Like that. So, I don't know. Because I already wear one like that. And this is just so freaking cute. Not gonna lie, I also really like this little mini backpack. And the brand is Madden NYC. So, I don't know. I'm kind of digging it. I'm currently being in my mom's shopping cart. Yep. 
Why'd you take them? I'm your shopping cart. Okay. Hello, hello. So it is the next day. I'm actually going to my grandma's today. We're gonna play. Amber Lynn loves that baby filter. The little baby with the heart on the other cheek. Oh, she loves this. If you guys follow her on Instagram, you'll see that constantly. Oh, it is the next day. I'm actually going to my grandma's today. We're going to play some cards and just talk. But I have something that's kind of like... Um, if you all haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend it. Mr. Snowflake put out a season one documentary on Amber Lynn a few days ago. It's all about season one. And in season one, it talks about how when Amber Lynn at age 18 went and kind of made herself a burden on Casey and Casey's mom. And it's just really interesting because it was never really disclosed in the documentary why Amber Lynn wasn't allowed to return to stay with the grandma. So kind of what happened was Amber Lynn went and visited Casey and then when as soon as she visited Casey for the first time and she got out there and everything, the grandma kind of pulled a fast one on her and said, you know what? You can't come back, actually. You, you can't live here anymore. I mean, I know that time heals most wounds, but... I don't know. You, th you think there's a little bit of something between her and the grandma? A little bit of uh, strain after all these years? I mean, I know it was a long time ago and everything, but... Hmm. Pulling a fast one on you like that? Oh, by the way, now that you're on vacation or now that you're visiting someone else? By the way, uh, you can't return. But now we're hanging out with grandma a lot. Huh? I don't know. Must have made amends. On my mind... Um, so in my last vlog or one of my last vlogs, you guys saw me with a vape. So this is my Delta haul. So this is the, uh, Delta. I've never actually had this brand before, but look at how cute this is. And I think it shocked a lot of people. And I think the reason why I was so nonchalant about showing that because I've, oh God, this is like even like crazy for me to admit out loud, out loud. And just goes to show that like i don't share everything online <laughs> that's very obvious but i've actually been vaping for God. i don't know why it feels weird to say this out loud online but um i smoked like all day every day while living in kentucky i've actually been vaping delta 8 since even before my ex i know a lot of people thought um feline introduced me no, I was actually vaping a while with Becky and I'm only bringing that up just for timeline references. I did like the Delta 8 gummies, I did do those, but I would vape a lot of Delta 8. Maybe sometime down the line I could tell you more about uh, some things that- uh, Okay, the, the title of this video is Sharing a Secret and Spilling Some Tea. Is, th is this the secret? She's been vaping for many years now. Whereas, so she's been vaping since season four, but the audience thought that she's only been vaping since season five. I mean, I mean, really, this this is a ground shattering secret. This this is incredible. I I quite literally felt tectonic plates shift beneath my feet when this secret was shared with me. Um. Okay, Amberlynn. She has bad habits that she doesn't tell us about. What? What? <laughs> that I've done. Uh, or that I was doing. But yeah, that is a situation. So I guess I just like wasn't thinking that I hadn't told you guys that I vaped Delta 8. But a lot of people were shocked. Don't be shocked. I do go through moments where I do take a break because like vaping's not good for you no matter what the heck you're vaping. But it is a situation, it is something that I do. So now that it's out in the open, it is what it is. Um, but I only ever do it outside, 
never do it in my apartment. Hello, it is the next day and I think I deserve an award for the worst vlogger on YouTube ever. I just like haven't been in it, haven't been filming, but I will be back to a more consistent schedule soon. I promise. Um, right now I'm just trying to like figure out my hair cause she's <laughs> not doing the greatest. I don't know if you guys can tell, which you probably can't because you guys didn't see it before, but last night, I took these. I was having like- So she kind of alluded to it right there. I know that I haven't been uploading consistently, but I will be soon. Um, th th that really doesn't make any sense. Uh, if there's one month to get it together and to upload consistently, it's December. Um, all YouTubers know that. It's the highest paying month. We're supposed to believe that come January 1st, Amber Lynn's going to be- back at them with a consistent schedule last january amberlyn i i think she took off about 10 days she uh yeah right after vlogmas she she vanished for a while so in the lowest paying month or at least one of the lowest paying months you're gonna come back with a fire under your butt and get back to a consistent uploading schedule i don't really hold out hope for that because if you're not motivated to do it in the highest paying month, um, I, I don't see how January is going to, you know, instill that ambition into you. Like a minty bee, I don't know. And I cut a lot of my hair. I mean, you could tell because the straight, <laughs> like you could tell that I, that I did it. But I probably cut like good this much. So I did do that. Um, she feels healthier. I'm not wearing pants right now, so it's not. I just, I felt like she needed a trim. So, yeah. I mean, she looks a little bit better. I could go up to, like, right here, but your girl's not doing that. So, I'm actually just finishing up getting ready. Um, I am going to my mom's boyfriend's family's house. Okay, this isn't the greatest angle right now, but... Who cares? So I just got home. I did get a new Lego. I'm still working on the Pac-Man one, but I'm purposely going super slow because I didn't have another one to do afterwards. And now your girl has another one. This one won't take me long because it's only 688 pieces. I also have a little Amazon haul, just a quick one. So I needed more foundation and I literally couldn't find my foundation anywhere, which was so freaking weird. So I ordered from Amazon. Last time I did that though, they gave me the wrong color. So let's see. Yes, 115 Ivory. I love the dewy and smooth normal to dry fit me by Maybelline, I promise. This is literally the best you'll ever get. And then here I have a box. Some of this might be Christmas gifts for my mom. I'm not sure, so I will not show that. Nope, this is for me. So if you guys don't know, my birthday is actually on the 27th of December, and that was my a nose ring piercing. Like, that's what I got myself um, for my birthday. And for Christmas, I decided I'm just gonna get a couple little things. One of them is the Nicki Minaj perfume. I actually used to have this very, very long time ago. Um oh yeah, because she needs more of this. <sighs> <laughs> these aren't cheap either i, I mean a, a nice bottle of perfume or a nice bottle of cologne minimum 100 dollars. <laughs> i i just when i see amber lynn show off the perfume collection from time to time and i see 17 bottles on the shelf like that I, let's get another let's <laughs> yeah why not um i recently have ran out of like I would say about five or six perfumes, like all within like the span of just like a month. Um, like my newest one I uh, used the last tiny spray of was my Gucci perfume. And I'm like, wow, okay. But look how cute this bottle is even. It's so cute and it smells so good. Like who is she? Beautiful. Oh my God. Gosh, that smells good. Then I have this bag here, but yep, that's a gift. So we're not going to open that together. So I forgot to mention it and I forgot to show it, but every single Saturday at noon o'clock, 
literally clockwork. It happens every single Saturday at noon. This is what it sounds like here in the good old Oklahoma. So what that is, is it's a tornado, like alarm situation, siren, um, and they make sure that it's constantly working. So they test it every single Saturday and it's just like so obnoxious. A tornado alarm situation. <sighs> okay, well, we're, uh, we are two thirds finished with this vlog and in the title of this, it says spilling some tea. Uh, I, I, I'm waiting. I am really waiting uh, because this this is just filler footage. The Amazon haul was really lackluster, and now we're hearing about some noise that goes on outside her apartment. Girl, come on. <laughs> something. Something. Obnoxious. I mean, at the beginning it was obnoxious, and now I'm just like, oh, it's just Saturday at noon. So, yeah, figured I'd share that with you guys. Do you guys remember Snuggies? Because I sure in the heck do. And I kind of low-key wish I had one because lately I've just been taking my jacket or like a sweater and just like wearing it backwards while I'm just like chilling at home. And I love it. It makes me all like snuggled and warm. And obviously I could totally like do that with a blanket, but like you can't put your arms through a blanket. So that's why I think I need a Snuggie. Okay, so I quickly want to talk about something. Um, if you guys remember when I went and got my nose pierced, I met a subscriber who is really good friends with the person that I've been talking to on Instagram who wants to like hang out and meet and stuff. So many people were like, oh my God, like you have a stalker. The situation is I never told anyone, like anyone I was getting my nose pierced, like not even my best friends. I wanted it to be like a surprise. So nobody knew. So uh, by the way, through all of the avenues and channels that I s read about through the Amberverse community, I did not see one person say that. Amberlyn, you have a stalker. I, no one said that. So she's making up something to address just to have something to talk about. So that theory is like out the window like let's calm down folks i firmly believe that coincidences can happen and i also believe that the universe like does its own like magical things where it like puts people in your path or whatever it may be like i very much believe in the universe i am that type of girly i believe that things happen for a reason there was no stalking involved but i will say which is something i do want to talk about soon which i'm surprised i haven't yet I did have a stalker in Kentucky and I know all of their information just saying so if you're watching hi love you I do want to make something very clear I will never share their information but I do know it because your girl this is fake this is either completely made up or highly exaggerated anyone that has had a stalker like a, a real stalker that took it way too far to the point of being appropriately labeled with that term would not be smiling and giddy and acting all blase about it right now like she is. It's it's not fun, it's not cute, it's not quirky to be obsessively harassed and preyed upon like that. Uh this this is like the thing with FBI Frank. This, this is like when someone left a comment on her YouTube video and then the FBI called her and said, wow, you have a really popular YouTube channel. It... Through, throughout season five, there were some uh, uh, scenarios when people were taking photos of Amber Lynn and uh, Jade outside of their apartment complex and I remember the first time it happened. It was April of 2022. It was like a month or two after I started doing reaction videos. And someone got a picture of Jade walking Twinkie outside their apartment complex. And that was like the first time that anyone had ever gotten a picture of Jade. It was like the big deal. And everyone was like, oh my God, everyone got a picture. 
So I, I think that Amber Lynn here is kind of exaggerating maybe that situation or some of the other situations when people took photos of her in public. Um, my opinion on that has kind of remained the same over the past year and a half. I don't think because someone takes a photo of you on the sidewalk while you walk your dog, that that's stalking. Um, she can maybe think of it that way, but I, I just have a different definition of stalking. I, I don't think that some people taking photos of you getting out of your car or standing outside while Twinkie takes a dump is stalking. But here we go. And then, I mean, this what she's already communicated to us, it's very little. I had a stalker in Kentucky. I know everything about them. If you're watching, hi. But I'm not going to share any of their information. That that doesn't mean anything. There's no tea. There's no specifics. Girl, spilling some tea. This, this. This is tea. Girl is intuitive. And she felt something. She felt the energy. And it's just a whole story. It's a whole story time. Um, I will definitely give it to you guys. And I do, like, come the new year, I need to go back to, like, and every other day uploading. I need to film more. I need to stop worrying so much about what I'm filming. Like, I need to go back to my roots in a certain aspect, not all aspects, girlies. Because I'm, I'm changed. I, I very much, like, compared to the person, like, four years ago, yes, we still have... <laughs> We still have the Lego bag here. I'm very different than who I used to be, but like I want to go back to the roots of like, I want to film what I want to film. And I feel like lately I have been filming what I feel like I'm supposed to film. Like my brain. I, I have no idea what this means right now. Amber Lynn has been giving us the same type of content f since the live stream era. I want to film what I want to film, not what I feel like I should should be filming what I'm supposed to be filming. Absolutely zero idea what this means right here. Um, as far as her saying that she's a changed girly pop, uh, Amber Lynn in mostly all ways that I can think of is the same exact person. Uh, she has realized that privacy is power in a sense here on YouTube and that the more that she doesn't give to the community uh, the less that they have to talk about so if that's her thinking that she's changed just because she doesn't disclose so much about herself or her lifestyle or the people around her um okay yeah yeah you've you've changed in that regard but in literally every other aspect of your life I haven't seen any change or progress or anything. It's it's kind of just the same old cycle, but okay. Like it's it works weird, okay? So don't ask, but I do just want to get like better at uploading and I want to film more and like I want to get out of like this it just has to be vlogs era because for some reason I feel like I just have to upload vlogs, but like I really don't have to. I could do all sorts of things. So it's definitely been on my mind. Uh, okay, so when she says that, that to me says live streams. I need to get out of this just vlogs era. I mean, really, can you guys think of what what else that could possibly mean? Other than live streams, what does that mean? <laughs> I, I, I really don't know. I could do a whole lot of stuff. No, no you couldn't. It's this or live streams. <laughs> Fine. And there will be a stalker story time because it's just like girly pop. Like, what? All right, you guys. So I am going to end this vlog, though. Um, I don't really know how the rest of like the years going to go with like vlogging and like whatever. But I really, really do want to try come... January, where all YouTubers disappear, your girly pop is actually going to probably upload more because I really want to start off the new year with like a good YouTube grind, good energy, good thoughts. I want to put good things out into the universe so I can receive them back. 
So anyways, I love you guys and I'll see you. <sighs> that, that was me holding my breath. All right, everyone, we have made a safe and secure landing back on Mother Earth. I would now like to take a moment to thank you for making it to the end of today's adventure. If you enjoyed the journey, please leave a thumbs up, some of your thoughts in the comments, and take the subscribe button to Walmart. This is Jordy, blasting off. I will see you next time in the Amberverse.